My name is Natalie Lundquist. I am 21 years old and I struggle with body dysmorphia. I feel like it's almost like a like a fear of trusting yourself or a fear of trusting others because you don't know, you don't really know what's true. I just physically can't really see myself as like getting better or like anything good. It's like, oh yeah, like I look a bit different today, but then like five seconds later, I'll look at myself from like a different angle and it's like, oh, but I don't look exactly like this now. Saturday, October 2nd. It's like 60 degrees outside, so not bad. Um, yeah, let's get it. when you're like always wanting to like have your body look a certain way or you want to feel in control of that just because you don't trust what you see all the time in the mirror like you're always just kind of like oh like i looked like this at one moment and now like i don't anymore and so i need to fix that and so um like kind of when you read about those like different things like oh yeah like go running because then that'll like help you like look in this way and like oh that's what i want and or um if you like go and train this way then this will help you get to that and um yeah like at that point you're kind of just willing to try anything i have always been a little bit more muscular and I've always been more on the masculine side. I was eating probably four to five more servings than I should have been every single day. And I started to be more ashamed of, of the way I look because I got pretty heavy pretty fast. As you do research and talk to people and all the stuff who do weightlifting and cardio, it's always, oh, you should be running every day because that is going to help you lose that fat that you want to lose. November 3rd, it's 3.21 a.m. <clears throat> um, I was gonna run today, but I woke up at 2. <laughs> Couldn't fall back asleep for a little bit, so I did an assignment. It's now almost 3.30, so I'm gonna try to get a few more hours of sleep and then get up and do a few more assignments and do my clean check. So I probably won't be running today, but I'm supposed to be going to the doctor today. I have made a lot of progress and I'm a lot thinner than I was back then. But I think what people don't understand with body dysmorphia is you can lose all the weight in the world, but you're still gonna see that big person in the mirror.
I felt like I was analyzing myself a lot more um, because I had gone in with like this expectation of like what was supposed to be happening and um, then when either like it was or it wasn't happening then I was just kind of like always fixated on that so. I ran a little bit before I started the documentary and then going through running through the documentary I feel like my body dysmorphia has gotten way worse <laughs> and although I haven't really had significant weight loss or weight gain at all I've kind of just been steady um, and my blood pressure is fine and everything like that it's at that point where I look in the mirror again and I see the big girl and I look in the mirror again and I hate what I see to the point where I try to avoid looking in the mirror and it's been a while since I felt that way so it's really hard instead of like seeking for validation from others as well like you have to kind of like learn to you have to learn to trust yourself i think that's just the reality of it is what works for one person isn't going to work for someone else and so all these people like preaching out saying like oh you need to be running every single day to lose weight like that's great if that works for you if you enjoy running and it's helping you go for it running's great but if you're like me and you hate cardio and it makes you feel like crap and it gets to the point where you don't want to get out of bed and you don't want to look at the mirror you don't want to eat because that makes you feel like you failed even more then don't do it. <laughs> Find something that works.